Take a minute and rewind the clock back with me all the way back to the year 2009. We're going to check out a Halloween game from way back then. Again, my goal here with this Halloween marathon is to introduce you to games that maybe aren't as well known. This one only has 440 reviews, so it seems like a, a good possible one. It says it's Lovecraftian, and it's a point-and-click adventure. But other than that, I know nothing about it. So let's check out The Darkness Within in Pursuit of Loath Nodler. Nold Nolder. There we go. In Pursuit of Loath Nolder. All right. That's weird. It's almost like a, I'm supposed to be wearing like 3D glasses or something. Select difficulty. Standard detective, senior detective. Uh, suitable for casual gamers. Hints can be taken whenever they're available. Uh, let's just use easy because then that way we can get things more quickly because... Really, this is all just about showing you vignettes of, of little bits of games intellect. that we might enjoy for know Halloween. That there is no sharp distinction betwixt the real and the unreal. All right, if you say so, H.P. Lovecraft. Seems wrong to me, they but... They say that I am mad. They said the two locals found me in the morning, seven miles from the town of Windlaps. Who's the they you're talking about? And muttering meaningless gibberish to myself. I was cursing and arguing with myself. Well, we've all done that. A raving madman with burning eyes, lost in the dark depths of his own merciful delirium. You may be more alone on that I one. They say that I have been searching for a particular grave in the local cemeteries. They were right. If you knew whose grave it was, you would understand. So my behavior, which seemed abnormal, had nothing to do with madness. You must understand that. If you say so. He thinks he doth protest too much. I promise. Also understand the reasons for my behavior. It all started on that cold November day. That was when I was given the case of the fugitive suspect, Loth Nolder, a man whose intelligence I greatly admired. All right. After five years Seems of like admiring your and it Case's intelligence might be a conflict of interest. Case he took on. It was Loth Nolder who left Wellsmouth those five years ago. But was he the same man who returned? That's the question. This I will leave to the judgment of the readers of these notes. Ah, well, I judge you crazy. Is that what I was supposed to judge? Institution for two weeks now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Really that long? I cannot say. I do not remember the first eight days. The doctors tell me I am making progress. I think they are lying. That doesn't sound mad at all. Day to remember where I am, even who I am, after I wake up in the dreams. That is why it is essential to keep oh, these there's his bong. I struggle to convince myself that I am really mad. Because before the night that I was found, I looked into the deepest wells of madness more than any man alive. But I'm totally not crazy, trust me. I'm definitely mad. I must be. Oh, well, everything I have acknowledgement seen. is the first step. I have seen through the eyes of insanity's omnipresent soul. Well, now we can start the healing process. Put on this straitjacket and we'll give you a bit of a... Lithium and leeches and, you know, all of the current contemporaneous medicine that's, uh, perfectly cutting edge. Alright. Ooh. I actually thought this was just going to be, like, static point and click. I didn't realize it was going to be freeform. Ooh, I'll tell you what, though. That mouse is a little sensitive. Can I change that in the options? Uh, gameplay. Mouse sensitivity. Let's turn that way down. Maybe let's off, basically. There we go. Well, that's, uh, I wish I could turn it down further, but that'll do. No handle. All right. Okay. Because no one... Oh. Oh, it is point and click. I just... I, here I was trying to use Wasad to open something up. Oh, that's, uh, dark. Okay. Another one with no handle, huh? I feel like there's going to be something on the floor that I've missed because I've just kind of been booking past things, but... What does this mean? Who drew all of this graffiti? Oh. There was a handle there? It did, I didn't see one. I thought it was just going to tell me I couldn't do anything again. 
What a beautiful room. Reminds me of somewhere. <gasps> what a beautiful room. I just didn't even notice the body on the floor. I was so distracted by the beauty of that window. Really? I'm just going to run away? Not going to even check to see if he needs help or if he's alive. as if they were real. Alright, turn off the alarm already. Gosh. Ugh, I can't twist that far. Alright, let me get out of bed first so I can turn off the dang alarm. Ugh. Oh, that's a phone? How did I just want to turn it off? Alright, inventory. Talk. Come on. I just... My cell phone. Right click to open. There we go. Oh, yes. so loud. At last. Where were you? I've been trying to contact you for hours. What's the problem, Arthur? Loth Nolder escaped from the hospital last night. I've been calling you for hours with the news. Strange. I never heard the phone. I like that font. I left several messages. Yes, that's anyway, the sort of riveting commentary you're going to get from me is no that knows. sexy font. It's like he just <laughs> vanished out of the place overnight. Okay, I'm on my way in now. Howard, are you feeling all right? <sighs> just a little tired, Arthur. I must have overslept last night. Not Whereas the worry, radio but... has some of that okay. ghosting that the Not menus easy. had that makes it look like I'm supposed to be wearing 3D glasses or something. All right, let's turn this on. Uh, can't seem to tune it. Now listen to the sounds of smooth elevator jazz. <laughs> Alright. Those are all the channels I get. Uh, we'll just turn him back off. Alright. How do I back up? Alrighty. Anything in here? I and my nightmares. <laughs> Alright. Uh, nightmares, though. The fact that there's a space there, doesn't that mean that those are actual mares, as in female horses? Preface. There are times when even the howlings of fearful sirens are not enough to affect one, and there are such times when even the withered moon that is hidden behind a cloud can affect the shatter of life, which is in the darkness of a cave. Illusions of myths that are long forgotten affect and dominate the imagination unexpectedly. Thus some people imagine primordial forests in which thousands of unknown life forms are living, Dark cities where life ended eons ago, and deserts where the highest towers of those dark cities are now... are now... right. Cities now are now no more than simple pieces of rock revealing only very tiny portions, like the tip of an iceberg. They wander in the vast crypts, which are full of permanent smell of death, and in places where one can remember that beauty and splendor had once existed. I don't think I'm going to read this whole thing. That's a little bit long. You can read it on your own time if you want. The Burnt House... Time of the Triumphant Winch. Yeah, feel free to pause and read these, but this is, uh, this is a lot. These don't look like clues. Monstrous Eye. Through the Gate of Horn. Lurker's Call. Is this just, like, a collection of actual short stories and poems? From the Abyssal Plains. A Dream. The Voice. Interesting. This one's short. We'll read this one. The Voice. I heard a voice, or a deep, gentle noise, that filled wicked lies with might. Within stone bed, the numbly dead can stay away from light. It was a phrase that was told in days of old and shadowed times. In dormant state, said the dead can wait for the time he is to rise. All right. How do I get out of here? There we go. Back. Well, that wasn't uh, particularly helpful, but interesting. Can I open any of the other drawers? No. How about this? I got a cell phone and a landline? Oh, yeah. Let's play by messages. No new messages. All right. Didn't Arthur say he left messages for me? I'd better call and ask him about this. All right. I can't. I can't call because I can't pick up the receiver. Really, you're gonna make me call with my cell phone? That seems a little odd, but whatever you say. Phone book, Arthur. There we go. Man, I used to have a Nokia brick like this. I used to be excited to get something like this. 
Yes, Howard? Arthur, it's me again. Sorry, I think I might have missed a few things earlier. Okay, Howard. What do you want to know? Uh... You called me. So why didn't you leave a message on the machine? What do you mean? I left plenty of messages. You didn't get them? I don't know, Arthur. I think this old machine is broken. Yeah, that would be the assumption. Old machines like that frequently did not work. Could you explain the last night at around 2:45 a.m. disappeared. Several times. When we Can't got reach there, me. We found out a nurse okay. Rounds, noticed that he was gone and raised the alarm. All right. See you. Sounds good. That guy kind of sounded like Steve Merchant. Arthur does. All right. Uh, we got what do we got here? We got a door, but first uh Oh, I thought I saw that. Okay. Can't really do anything with that, but... Alright. How about the drawers? Can I... Nope. It looked like I was going to be able to click on the drawers, but it was just the same as the clock. One of the paintings by the young and infamous painter Harry Wilcox. Late last year he died in a tragic accident. I used to say that he had a bright future ahead of him. Wow, that text is so fast. I can't read fast enough to... To get it all. Is this another one by whatever Wilcox? Is it a collection I've got going on? I have it over here, the same thing. Ooh, I had a dream catcher. Where'd that go? I nightmare. Just an Wow. Nightmare with Cecil City, you slip. Painting always reminds me of that poem. You know, I'm gonna see if I can turn down the text speed because that. Uh. Uh, options because that makes it really hard to read. Where is dialogue speed? I'm gonna click slow. Actually, click there. I have to click each time. That way, I can actually read it. All right. Sorry, I can't read fast enough. I nightmare just an adhesive drip. All right. To drop into the nightmare where ceaselessly you slip. This painting always reminds me of that poem. Okay. Couldn't understand what adhesive drip was about, but it was just part of the lyrics of the poem. Rubaiyat, one of my favorite books of poetry. Can I not open it? All right, I guess I can't. And we got some sort of impressionistic artwork of a tree. All right, there seems to be, wow, and I can't look down far enough to click on that one. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. Oh, there's like a... Is that a TV? I didn't notice that before. Alright, is this my closet? Let's see. It would appear so. Uh, I can't take my umbrella, but... I keep my clothes and some other things in here. Nothing of interest. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna get dressed, I'm just gonna... Stay in my pajamas, or... Maybe in the buff. I mean, I can't see what I'm currently wearing. Woke up out of bed, and I'm just going to race off and head to work, even though I'm not wearing any clothing. Perfect. Come on, go that way so I can get out of the room. Alright, so let me look backwards, because that's my bedroom. Or is this my bedroom? I can't tell. Alright, so it's got to be that one. And more stuff that I can't click on. Alright. Alright. So we can either go straight or we can go left. Let's go left first. This is my tub. All right, very important to flush the toilet. But uh, it's not gonna let me wash my hands, so, you know, that's gross. Fellow Plex. All right, we got a few things, but I can't take any of them. There seem to be an awful lot of boondoggles in this. Just things that are there to distract you from from what you're actually supposed to do. Alright. I mean, it seemed like that bathroom was a complete waste. Oh, where am I now? I came from there. I'm in the hallway. Alright. Further down the hallway. Because this is... Oh, this was just in my dream before. Whereas now it's the actual hallway. Okay, so in, in my dream they didn't have doors. I'm so forgetful these days. I forgot my car keys. Oh. All right, where do you keep your car's keys? You know, 
I would think you would keep them around here, but... Ah. No, that's not it? What is that then? There we go. Can I take these buttons or coins? No, can't do that either. Alright. That's enough of that. Let's go. Alright. See if it'll let me get out of this joint now. Let's blow this popsicle joint. Uh, if that's my car, why am I watching it from the side of the road? Somebody stole my car! This office has been mine since I was promoted to police detective. Wells, North. Never much happening here. Just run-of-the-mill cases and paperwork to catch up on. That's my normal working day. But not with this case. I've got to admit, it's been good to be dealing with something a little out of the ordinary for once. Okay. Apparently he's not very satisfied with his job. Can we turn on any of this now? Uh, Clark Field, single, date of birth, 76, okay. Uh, I mean, maybe I should be reading that more carefully, but I don't see anything very important. Suffocation. It seems like it's unrelated to this case. Really, that one looks like it's supposed to come out. Alright, guess not. These are investigation pictures taken at Lothnolder's office. There was nothing there when we first searched the place. I have examined the place several times since then, but couldn't find any clues. So hard to find clues. That office is the only property Nolder owns. He even sold his house to help pay for his strange travels around the world. So why didn't he sell his office as well? I think I'd better take these pictures with me. Maybe there's something here we're not seeing. All right. Sounds like a clue. Uh, well, I picked those pictures up really slow. All right. To examine an item, click Examine Screen button on the Inventory panel, then right-click on the item. Examine Screen, and then right-click, so I can right-click on the car keys and examine the car keys. All right. Left-click on the arrows to rotate it. Ooh, look at that! That's like some Skyrim stuff right here. You can rotate around the models. Oh, no. No. I wasn't done investigating. Oh, right click. There we go. Right click. Can I zoom in on it? Because. Oh, there we go. Yes, I can. Oh, yeah. What do we got here? We got uh, some sort of newspaper that's very hard to read because I took the picture from too far away. We've got a room with some boxes. We've got a room with a picture on the wall. Oops. And. To the picture of the desk from another angle. Apparently I really liked the the desk at Loth Nodler's Man, I could not say that guy's name. Loth Nolder's office. Alright, well that looks like all I can do over here. Anything in these filing cabinets? Can't look down far enough to do anything to them. Doesn't look like it. Uh I guess I can just leave now, huh? Oh, okay. Sweet. I want to go to Loth Nodler's office, but can I tell which one's which from those tiny little things? Oh, my house. Nice. There's a title text. There we go. Loth Nolder's office. I'll watch my car pass by me as I have an out-of-body experience again. Loth Nolder's office. Nothing was found during the police investigation because every record has been strangely effaced. The office has a hushed, expectant air, as though it is hiding secrets, and has been waiting five years for Loth Nolder's return. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, I'm looking at the boxes. Wasn't this much mess the last time I was here. Clearly, someone's been violating my crime scene. It's been sealed for police investigation, but someone's been in here. Who was it? And why? The world may never know. Well, there's nothing important here. That's all for a day's work for this detective. Back home to 
lay in my bed in the same clothes that I've been wearing this whole time. Five years old. This must be from just prior to his sudden decision to travel abroad. He visited some African and Ocean, o Oceanian countries during his travels. Okay. Oh, wait. Five years ago. 2006. Wait, this game came out in 2009. So this game is happening in the future? It's happening in 2011? Ooh, futuristic. Okay. That's all I can see over here. Wow, it's really irritating that I can't, like, look down further than that. Or up further than that. Uh, I know it shouldn't bother me, because then there's less things for me to look at, so I don't have to be wrong, but it just feels wrong. It feels like my neck's broken. The room was used for storing registers. Looks like it was emptied some time ago. Okay, so I can't go in there, I guess. The style of these paintings is not typical of those on display in your average office. Alright, that's all I can do over here. Can I go to, like, the other side of the desk or something to interact with those other objects? There we go. Uh, I was just trying to look at the book, but... Ooh, we've got some sort of cipher. Hmm. What would that be? I mean, these look either like times... I mean, those look like times, right? What is that about? Weird. Okay. How about this? Wellsmith Myths and Legends of an Ancient Town. How surprisingly hard to read. Preface. Uh, amateur ethnologist Sean Bridge. Well, now i got to read that. What's an ethnologist do? This work has been prepared in order to collect the folks myths of the town Wellsmith into one coherent source. As generally known, Wellsmith is a settlement that was built during the medieval times, precise dates are not known, and due to the high mountain surroundings, it has always lived apart from the other settlements. For this reason, ethnologists are drawn to investigate the history of such an insular region. Oh, so they're just like historians? All right. Eather's Curse. I vaguely remember my grandfather telling me about this. Okay. Um... I'm not sure if this is, like, a clue or if it's just supposed to be, like, in Skyrim when you read a book and it's just, you know, the rich cultural history. Didn't you see we cared about this game so much we we gave it a backstory. Can I grab that? No. The line is dead. Oh, what did I just take? An ice pick? Or a letter opener? Earthquake hits Brengston just after 3 a.m. from 1964. Okay. 6.1... Mm, again, I can't tell what's uh, important and what's just what's just background to make things feel lived in. All right. Well, I had a picture from like this place. Am I supposed to like be comparing the two? Let's see. So if we look at that, we can see. Can I get to that? Oh, no, I was trying to get out. There we go. Can I look at it from that angle? There we go. So, if we open up our examiner and we look at this picture, oh man, that's going to be hard to compare. One of these things is not going to be like the other. So we got two of these, uh, a book on the shelf, one, two, three, four. Uh, okay. Two of those, book on the shelf, one, two, three, four. That looks the same, doesn't it? Was I supposed to have noticed a difference and I just didn't? Hard to say. But it says there's a brain thing, so let's see. A, a police picture taken by police during the investigation of the Loth Nolder. But let's let's click on this. What's the brain thing about? My house, Loth Nolder's office. Is this hints? Ah. Howard has the pictures of the first police investigation. Comparing the pictures with the current condition may give him a clue. That's what I was trying to do. All right. Ah, no, I was trying to hit escape to get out of there. A picture taken during the investigation of Loth Nolder's office. Okay, so that... Looks the same, right? Am I crazy? Is there something different? Uh, I mean... I can't see anything. Jumping out at me is wrong. 
If I could like flash back and forth between the two quickly, it might be easier, but I don't think that's something they're gonna let me do. Can I just like put the image on this image? No. Well, fine then. What about this one? Okay, so on that 